Hi everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 Breath New World as Hungary. So, I'm going to continue where I left off. I already changed production in Budapest to Apollo program, but we'll have to change it again in a turn or two to satellites. In fact, we can faith by two great scientists right now, and then still have enough faith, or almost enough faith, to faith by a great engineer for 6000. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So, these two great scientists will pop satellites on the next turn. Also, since I'm in this city already, I queued up the Kremlin after the battleship. I'll just hard build the Kremlin, I have no competition for it, so I'm guaranteed to get it. And the free social policy from it is useful. I don't really care about the production boost, but the social policy is nice. The production boost only applies to one type of units. The armor units, I believe. Let's see... Yeah, plus 50% production when building armor units. It's kind of situational, I mean, it's not bad, but it's a little bit too situational. Anyway, I checked all my artillery units, and the most experienced one is this one. It's actually 9... it's 12 experience away from logistics. Which means this is going to be the first artillery that will get upgrade to rocket artillery. But not yet, I don't actually have enough money to make that happen right now. We'll keep attacking Kingston. I don't really want to move any closer. I could move here, but that would leave my artillery slightly too exposed. Let's see, I could attack that city from this style. That's actually a little bit better, I think. But then I'll be in range of this artillery, or I can just keep it on this side for now. Alright. What I could do is send the battleship north. And once I get a battleship in this area, Kingston will go down so quickly. I could even send the Caravel. Yeah, I can still take a city with the Caravel, as long as I reduce it to one health. So, that sounds like a good idea. Meanwhile, let's keep getting experience. I can probably get rid of this artillery. Yep, I can. Alright, good. So... My plan right now is to take Kingston, because that will give me a connection to Ottawa. And I might also take Sarnia. But I won't be keeping it myself, I might just gift it to the Philippines. I don't like doing this too often, because annexing or puppeting a city increases your technology costs and your social policy costs. But it's okay to do with one or two cities. And these increased costs stay even if you give that city to someone later. So I won't lose these penalties after I give Sanya to the Philippines. They will stay there. Which is why I don't like doing it too often. But I can do it with this city. I don't want the Philippines to get wiped out again. <laughs> At least this way they will have two cities. Maybe that will help them stay in this game. Okay, so... I might actually stay at war with Canada, because there's basically no reason not to. Oh, Prussia wants Declaration of Friendship, perfect. So I did actually get Declaration of Friendship with Prussia, even though they have a different ideology. It's not impossible to get Declaration of Friendship with civilizations that have a different ideology, it's just pretty damn hard. Another battleship wants to go down, okay. So, bye. And now we can also get rid of this one. I mean, the entire aircraft gun. Upgrades. Oh, I don't have enough money to upgrade the rocket artillery. I could sell some crap to Prussia, now that we have the creation of friendship. Do I want to sell my strategic resources? Maybe, maybe not. Do they want iron? No, they don't. Do I have extra copies of amber? No, I don't. Oh, I'm selling amber to someone already. I could still sell it, because I have 24 happiness, but I think I'll pass. I might sell just one aluminium to get enough money to upgrade one unit. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. How much is that? 45? I think. Oh, he will give me more than that. No, I don't want to sell 5. Let's do this again. So, 45 gold, and that's a good deal. No, 67, right. 45 is on standard speed, I think. Either way, accept. And that gives me enough money to actually upgrade the frigate, if I want to do that. Nah, I'd rather upgrade the artillery. That's going to be more useful overall. So let's do it. And we can keep attacking Kingston. Just with one unit for now. 
We can also attack this guy over there. Okay, looks good. I actually need that Kravel up there. Because my infantry is very low on health still. And that one infantry unit is my only melee unit in there. Right, let's pop some lights and queue up some technology after. I'll grab Atomic Theory, because then we can reveal Uranium on the map, we can build the Manhattan Project, and it's also required for advanced ballistics, and for particle physics later, and for ecology. I might grab ecology soon, just to build the Sydney Opera House, we'll see. Either way, Atomic Theory, after sunlight. Let's reveal the map then. And let's have a look around. So Prussia did start on their own island. Wow, Prussia was actually very isolated in this game. I was their closest neighbor. Because Oslo is nowhere close. Yeah, Oslo is all the way over here. So I was actually Prussia's closest neighbor. That's funny. Alright then. This is a Pangea type map, but with high sea level in this case. High sea levels on Pangea maps lead to fairly interesting maps, actually. I quite like this one. I like when there's some naval combat, but I don't like when naval battles dominate the game. So this is perfect map. And Norway has some crappy cities down here. Wow, that's a lot of triplanes. Are they at war with Prussia? No, they are not. So what are they trying to do with this? That's interesting. I guess they can't rebase them to the main continent. Alright, that's their problem, I suppose. So, let's continue this. I have 254 gold, which is actually enough to upgrade this triplane if I want to. Do I want to? I think I'd rather save my money for more useful things. Yep, sounds like a plan. I got some artillery over here. I might be able to finish that off with a fighter. Yep, let's do that then. That's also a little bit of experience for our fighter. And let's keep pushing Sarnia. I got some infantry coming my way. I think I'll keep that one behind Budapest. I mean, this should be enough to take Sarnia. And if not, I can always upgrade one of these dudes to rocket artillery, which I might do next. Let's move this one out of Yerevan. And... I'll just keep attacking it. I might have to move out of here with this artillery, but it's very close to a promotion. It's actually one experience away from a promotion. If they attack this artillery, it will get a promotion on the next turn. Intercept. And we'll stay in there. So, now that we got satellites, I can get started on Hubble Space Telescope. And I'll just rush it with a great engineer once I get 6000 faith. Which is going to be on the next turn. Yeah, Mexico doesn't like my declaration of friendship. <laughs> Same with the Vandals. Yeah, they can keep complaining. It's not going to change. Hey, this is the first friend that I had in this game for a very long time. I'm not only counting the Philippines because I liberated them. What? Norway is going to pay us 23 gold per turn for a peace treaty? Yeah, sure. I like money. So, thanks? This is the second or third time when they do this in this game. They keep declaring war on me from the other side of the world and then paying for peace, which is kind of strange. I've seen that kind of behavior in unmodded games though. It's just pretty rare and very strange. It makes no sense really. But I suppose that's their problem. So we got a promotion on that artillery. We can grab accuracy too. And now we can replace it with something else. So let's see. Like this. Perfect. And we can keep pressuring Sarnia. Very nice. One more turn and we can upgrade yet another artillery. As for the United Nations, I'll just vote for myself. Obviously Canada will be the host. But I'm not voting for Canada during the war. That would be silly. Hmm. Can I attack that city with more units? Not really, unless I move here. I might. That's not a terrible idea, I suppose. Right. Kingston. Let's attack Kingston. I should do much more damage with that rocket artillery now. And that rocket artillery should get logistics in two turns? Yep, 144 out of 150 experience. 
Once this guy gets logistics, Kingston will fall so quickly. I'll just attack these workers for experience. Alright. Do I want to upgrade this Gatling gun? That's kind of expensive and sort of useless. I mean, it's not useless, but for that much money, either they're safe for artillery upgrades instead. Alright, this Cravel is going north. I should probably escort it with my submarines. I don't need the submarines around here anymore. So let's have a look around. There's a Caravel, not anymore. Alright then, as for the battleship, do I want to send it to Kingston? I don't think that's going to be necessary, but just to make sure, I'll send it north, because why not? Triplane, oh nice, air repair. Awesome. Now I can upgrade it to a fighter. Yeah, with air repair, that's actually very useful. Okay, before we do anything else, let's fade by that great engineer. That's going to be 6,000. And the next one will be 9,000, I believe. Yep. It's unlikely that we'll get 9,000, but we will get another great engineer in Budapest. In reasonable future. Not in 13 turns, though. Unless I delay a great scientist in Yerevan. Probably not worth it. We'll get the great engineer a little bit later. With level 3 tenet from order, we can actually use great engineers to rush spaceship parts. Which I might do with the very last spaceship part. But we'll see, it's not that important right now. It's not like anyone can threaten me in this game, to be honest. Canada is still the most advanced AI, also I have a spy that's not doing anything. Do I have any city-states that I'm not at war with and that don't have any... spies in them? Hanoi, militaristic city-state. But Norway is 200 influence ahead of me. This city already has a spy in it. So, Kuala Lumpur? Maybe. That's 134. Not Hanoi. Panama City? That's more reasonable. Yeah, let's send that spy to Panama City. That seems reasonable. Just need to find it on this list. Probably faster to do it this way. There it is. Okay, off you go. I recollections in 18 turns. Once I'm done with Sarnia and with Kingston, I might actually attack Charlottetown. Either Charlottetown or Montreal, I haven't decided yet. One of these cities. We'll see, and maybe both. I could probably do both. I could attack this one with all my battleships and then attack this one with my land army over here. I'll just stay at war with Canada. Because that's more fun and more exciting. Alright then, anything else? Let's just move. Can't attack anything with that battleship. We'll get more battleships. Two more battleships to be precise. What's Estergon doing? Okay, rocket artillery. That's fine. I'm training rocket artillery because that will actually be faster than upgrading every single artillery. I think I'll move this one into Yerevan. Oh, this guy actually wants to buy our silver? Sure. That's only 3 gold per 10, but we can't get any other deals for silver. So might as well accept. Will Prussia actually buy our strategic resources? No, I already checked that. They won't buy iron. No, wait, they will buy iron. Okay. Did they change their mind? I'm pretty sure I asked them about iron already and they didn't want it. Maybe they changed their mind. I'm just waiting for my turn to start right now. So let's do this. That's going to be how much gold? 337, I think. Let's try like this. Okay, I think that's 337. Okay, awesome. Will he buy even more iron? I mean, it's not like I need iron. No, he won't. But this gives us enough gold to upgrade yet another artillery. We got a battleship, so that's bombardment too. Let's see, what do we upgrade next? Well, first, let's rush the Hubble Space Telescope. That will give us two great scientists in two turns, so we can see if we have any uranium. I hope we do. I might nuke Canada just before this game ends. Because why not? Okay, let's go north. Oh, there's a battleship near Kingston. Okay, now I need the submarines over there. And I guess I could use this battleship too. Okay, but we'll get a little bit of experience. Now, do I attack the battleship? Or the city? Probably the battleship. Or even this entire aircraft gun. Hmm. 
This artillery needs one more shot. No, it needs two more shots at the city or three shots at the unit. Oh, okay, this battleship will actually go down if I attack it. Or will it? No, it won't. That's very close, but not quite close enough. No, oh, well, it will go down on the next turn, I suppose. That's fine. Do I upgrade this guy? Maybe. Nah. I will upgrade one of the artillery units near Yerevan, just to take Sarnia faster. Because it looks like it will actually be needed. So, question is which one? This one is low on experience. They are all kind of low on experience. Maybe this one? This one actually has accuracy too. But I can't upgrade it on this turn. Wait, no, I can. Okay, this one is the best candidate. So upgrade this. And now, I need to either back up or attack the center aircraft gun. Or both? Well, I can't do both. It will attack one of my units on the next turn if I don't move out of here. Because of this road. How much damage can we do? Not that much. I'm not too excited about leaving this, these artillery units in the way, but okay, let's do it. If I lose one of these inexperienced artillery units, it's not the end of the world. It's fine. I'm actually going to get rocket artillery in 9 turns. I could attack that with the fighter, but that's not a very safe thing to do. Nah, I'd rather keep it on intercept. Alright, this will also stay on intercept. And that infantry will fortify. I'm done with repairs. And we'll get a hydro plant in Yerevan on the next turn. That should give Yerevan a lot of extra production. So that's quite nice. I'm not upgrading anything on this turn. Because we will get enough money to upgrade yet another artillery. Probably this one near Budapest. Then I could push Sarnia from the east. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, I actually lost that one. But that's okay. I also lost the Gatling gun. Oh well, whatever. These weren't very valuable units. It sucks losing units, but I'll replace them with rocket artillery. So, not really a big deal. Alright. Can we take Kingston? Well, not yet. I might actually need this Cravel to take Kingston with. Great artist. I'm almost considering using that guy for a Golden Age instead of Great Work. But, oh no, that's a great musician. No, this is a great artist. So, do I want to start a Golden Age? I'm considering it. It's not like I'm low on tourism. I'm probably the, the tourism leader right now. And yeah, I am. I'll get a lot more once I get an airport in my capital and in Ottawa. Okay, let's use this guy for Golden Age. That will give us 20% extra production and 20% extra everything. Right. What next? Get rid of that artillery. I might also grab this city. I could give that to the Philippines too, if I really want to. We'll see. I have a lot of time to decide. So this will go down. And Kingston. Can I attack it? I need to move a little bit closer to get vision. But I can attack it with the battleship. But I will be in range of this artillery if I do that. Yeah, let's not do that. I don't want to risk too much. That was actually a mistake. Because now I don't have vision anymore. Right. The infantry can help with that. I could keep that infantry over there. But I don't want to risk closing it. That would be silly. Okay, Kingston will definitely fall on the next turn. And I can take it with the Caravel. I just need to keep it out of range of this artillery. So right here, that looks good to me. And I'll play it safe, keep the infantry in the back. Can't get, can't get experience for the artillery, but that's fine. So, let's keep pushing Sarnia now. This dude needs to die. Do I upgrade this? They aren't very experienced. Nah. I think I'll prioritize the units near Ottawa. That seems like a much better idea. Can I get rid of that entire aircraft gun and still attack Sarnia? No, I can't. Damn it. Okay, that's very irritating. I'll have to attack it with the rocket artillery, which is kind of annoying. 
I was hoping to move and then attack Sarnia, but whatever. I guess it will have to wait. So... Okay, hold on. What do I want to upgrade? This guy? He has a lot of experience. Okay, let's upgrade that one. And we're done on this turn, I think. We'll get the Hubble Space Telescope on the next turn. So we'll also get Atomic Theory on the next turn. Do I go for Ecology first or Advanced Ballistics? We still need to finish building the Hubble Space Telescope. But we need three boosters. I guess ultimately Sydney Opera House is not that important. Let's go for Advanced Ballistics first. The actual victory condition is way more important than getting a convenience wonder. That's a nice wonder to have, but it's not necessary. We're not going for culture victory. Canada still insists on actually attacking me. <laughs> yeah, they're persistent. So, come on. Give me the great Santis. If we have some uranium, I might actually build the Manhattan Project somewhere. And get some nukes. We could nuke Canada right before this game is done. So, do we have uranium? Oh, come on. Don't. Oh, right. We didn't get atomic theory yet. So, let's pop it right now. Give me that great scientist. Do we have uranium? Don't tell me we don't. Come on, really? We don't have uranium? Wow, okay, that kind of sucks. I don't even see any, any uranium on the map. Is there any, any uranium around here? There's, oh, there's some all the way over there. If I was really desperate, I could grab that with a citadel, but that would be the worst citadel in the history of everything. I don't see any other sources of uranium anywhere around here. That actually kind of sucks. I have zero uranium in my territory. Alright then. Do the Vandals have any? There's some over here. That's for uranium. Near Leptus Magna. Oh well. Whatever. I do have three great generals, so I suppose I could grab this citadel, but seriously. That would be the worst citadel in the history of everything. And for what? For two uranium? That's so not worth it. Okay, I'll worry about that later. Wow, we still can't take Kingston? Actually, yes, we can. But first, well, let's attack this. Then... Wait, can we take Kingston? Yes, we can. Absolutely. Can we? If I move closer... Wait, no, I can't actually take it, damn it. Yeah, because if I move the rocket artillery here, I will lose all of my movement points and I won't be able to attack. That's annoying. Now, hold on, we can take it. I'm going crazy here. It's so risky doing it like this, because I risk actually losing my battleship. But whatever. We're taking that city. So it's ours. Creed, Puppet. I'm keeping this one. Now, Canada might be able to take it back, but at that point I'll just take it with the infantry. I don't mind losing a caravel. It's not like it's a very valuable unit. It isn't. So, Sarnia is next up. Can we attack it? Right, I didn't even move with all these units. There are so many things going on that I'm losing track of everything I'm doing. <laughs> oh yeah, infantry to the west. He pillaged the farm, but the joke's on him because I'm not working that farm anyway. It's way too far away from Yerevan. It can stay pillaged. I don't really care. Pop this, that will give us nuclear fission on the next turn. Cargo ship, that will be gold per turn from Brandenburg. Let's upgrade this to battleship. Because why not? An intercept. Do I want to keep attacking this city? Maybe. But later. Sarnia is next. So, are we actually done with this turn now? Yes, I think so. Alright, next. And we're still at 20 happiness. I don't even need the Circus Maximus in Yerevan. 
I could probably switch my production to something completely different. But might as well build it. So Canada, Canada did not retake Kingston. Okay, we get to keep our caravel then. Because both of these units will definitely go down now. Especially now that I have rocket artillery nearby. I could take all of their biggest cities if I really wanted to. But probably not, that's a bit of an overkill. So there's nuclear fission. I'm probably like two or three technologies ahead now. If not more than that, probably more than that. I'm three technologies ahead of Canada. And way ahead of anyone else. This game is in the bug, really. Which is one of the reasons why I'm staying at war with Canada. It's more fun this way. It's definitely more fun this way. I need to be careful with this battleship. I'll just play it safe and send it somewhere out there. Oh hey, we got Wolfpack free. Awesome. So let's protect that battleship with the submarines. Sounds good to me. And we got our logistics. This guy is about to have a bad day. And this artillery will also get logistics soon. They will all get logistics soon. Now, do I want to take that city too? It's actually protected by a battleship inside. I will take damage if I attack it. But I might do it regardless. Maybe I could actually build a road section, then move in attack. And then move out or something. With the logistics artillery. That's not a terrible plan. I could use this rod. Actually, yeah, I can use this rod now. I can't attack it on this turn. I can't attack anything on this turn. Right, let's move down here then. I will probably take some damage from that battleship. I don't know, we'll see. Let's not debate it right now. This turn is done anyway. Another cargo ship. So... 18 gold per turn. Looks good to me. I have so many trade routes with Prussia right now. How many battleships do we actually have? Four battleships, okay. So I could attack one specific city with the battleships, like Montreal or something. That's a pretty decent city, I might go for that one. But Sarnia first, I still want to take that. That did not change at all. Let's push in a little bit. I'm even considering attacking it with the fighter. To do some extra damage. Okay, let's do that. That's 16 damage, that's not bad. And I could attack it with another fighter from the east. This is the fighter with air repair. So, yeah, let's do that. That was what, 26 damage? With these fighters, that's not bad. I can stay in Kingston with that guy and I should stay inside my actual territory. If I want to repair that battleship. And I definitely want to repair that. Okay, we are actually done on this turn. I'm getting 170 gold per turn now, which is quite nice. And I don't even have banks in the majority of my cities. I think I only have two banks total. So Sarnia should be ours in the next few turns, probably the next two turns or so. But they still have an artillery inside. I need to be careful not to lose any units. Okay then, so what's next? Either this city or Montreal, or both. Will they actually give me something in exchange for peace? No, they won't even negotiate. Okay, as you wish. Accuracy 2. And we got another battleship. Now we got 5 battleships. Very nice. And we got what? Oh yeah, this one already has a repair. What can I get then? Plus 2 range? That's not a bad idea. Or plus 1... Interception. This is actually pretty good. Let's grab an extra interception and upgrade this. And keep attacking Sarnia. Can I attack it safely? Probably. So we can almost do enough damage to take it. It will definitely go down on the next turn. So St. John. Yep, my rocket artillery took damage. As I thought it will. So the safest way to do it would be to attack that city with our logistics artillery. I can move in, attack it, and then move out. It will take a while like that, but it's the safest way. Anyway, I'm going to finish this part here and continue in next one. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.